All right, all right. I'm the host of Come Town, everyone. Hello, welcome to Come Town. It's now a Nick Mullenless podcast. Because uh, he's a this Nick, is pff, Adam. Okay, sorry. You know what? This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work with two people. I can't do it with you, man. I just don't think you have. Uh, Dude, you have we're what better it's off without Nick. Look, let's be honest. Let's just open the door, okay, to the Anthony Cumia Studios. The top Dude, of you the want park. Nick? Just, just open the door, and whoever's hanging out. We'll let them be our third co-host. Dude, if you want Nick, you can... Hey, hey, it's me, Nick Mullen. Diarrhea, diaper, uh, diaper rash, diarrhea. My diaper has autism. Stop it, all right? Save I'm, it. I'm Nick Mullen. I, you need a my, third. <laughs> I'm not going to have you roast my good friend, Nick. All right. I would never... Excuse me, is this the Jew? Oh, the my Asian? God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Look who we have here. Oh, oh my God. Who, who are you? Oh, hey, is this? Seth. Seth, Seth Dickfield. Dickfield. Oh, it's hey, me, buddy. hello, boys. Wow. How are you? How are you? Have a seat. This is a great wow. time of the year. Because actually, Nick, who you know, you know Nick. Oh, Martin. I hate that guy. Well, you oh, know. Is he's not here, is he's he? He's my good friend. This is, it's actually, I won't have you sully his name, but he actually just left. And we're looking for a third co-host, and it looks like you're the third co-host oh, of Come Oh, boy. Oh, I despise this is, him. It's actually pretty amazing how every time Seth Dickfield is here, it's like a Peter Parker kind of Spider-Man kind I of thing. I don't know what you're getting at at all. I don't know. Okay. Um, um, that's crazy. Well, I'm here now, and I tell you what, I love podcasting. <laughs> that's great, I buddy. love it. I We've love this. I love fill. talking Seth, into dude. the microphone. What, go Shoot. Shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm all yours. It's good to have someone... Like I am okay. I don't want to talk shit on Nick while he's not here. Like he talked shit on me last week, but Dude, like don't talk shit about my friend. Go ahead. It's just his politics get kind of exhausting. Oh, I'm so mad at this PC. I'm so mad at this. You know, this that's the worst part about him. I'm one hundred percent. That's what I like about Seth Dick. You know, when I hear PC, what I think in my mind is not politically correct, but pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how I think. I yeah, I'm proud to be PC, a pretty cool guy. Yeah. But, so uh, last time you were here, you were talking about Lady Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw it. I got it on uh, Torrent, but I donated money to Rain, uh, the ticket price for the movie. So women that are raped will get the money for the Lady Ghostbusters, which I illegally downloaded at my, wow. to watch at my girlfriend's apartment. That's and great. Uh, I, it was great. Uh, I just, you know, I mean, I only watched the first five minutes, and then I had to, you is know. Is it true that they uh, that they vacuum them up into their pussies? Uh, <laughs> is that how they vacuum the ghosts? That's one hundred percent true. <laughs> uh, that's how exactly you? how the movie goes. That's good. It's natural, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, what I was more afraid of than the ghosts while watching the movie was uh, the men in the film. Oh yeah, because you know what's what is a ghost going to do? You know, maybe That's scare true. you a little bit. A man, uh, well, he's going to do the wage gap. <laughs> he's going to do the wage gap at you. That's so he's true. not going to pay you in, uh, as much money. That that's is true. so fucking. And true. I just I heard, don't think that's fair. I heard you know, it is kind of messed up that the four female protagonists of the new Ghostbusters earn the least amount of money out of any actors on that film. That's oh, yeah. true. And that the original true. Ghostbusters were around in the eighties, yeah. and so even adjusting for inflation, they made way more money. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the female Ghostbusters had to do so much more work considering the increase of ghosts in New York since nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you, uh, so Seth, much. could you actually, like, you know, I, d I don't know mm. if this is cool or not for a podcast, but could you give us a couple, like, good bits, like, that from the Ghostbusters movie, like, a couple lines that you remember? The girl, uh, the girl uh, Ghostbusters one? No, I actually don't remember any of the lines from the movie. I put the film on, and then I looked in the mirror, and I pat myself on the back <laughs> for the next two hours, and I kept saying, good for you. Good for you, <laughs> Seth. Don't let, those, don't let those bad guys on Reddit tell you what you can or cannot enjoy. Are you looking forward to anything else? It sounded you asked, sound like you asked if this was the Juno Diaz reading. Um, oh, by the way, Seth, do you want snacks or something? Like... Yeah, we have actually we have like uh, chocolate. Oh, like is these M and M's? Oh, are these are M and M's. Yeah, they're, they're these regular M and M's. Oh, these are peanut M and M's. No, no, no yeah. they're regular M and M's. No, they're. Oh, peanuts. I had some earlier. I can't have peanuts. Oh uh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> these are definitely peanut M and M's. Oh yeah, no, you oh no. I'm allergic to literally everything. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, oh, uh, how are you? Are you I, got, I don't feel so good. I have to go get help. I'm gonna go look for help. I'm uh, sorry. Someone has to stay here with me. I'll well, stay here with you, but like, do you? What, do you have like an EpiPen or do you have like I don't. I don't have anything. I just need to, people to tell me I'm a victim until I feel better. <laughs> Please console me. Please, someone tell me how much of a victim I am. 
No, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts, we, we need to get, oh, like, God, some medical my, I feel my throat closing up, I feel. Do you have, I feel like, an like emergency I'm being contact? I feel, oh, yes, it's in my wallet. Here, call my, oh, I hate him so much, but uh, please call my cousin, okay. What's Baltimore your cousin? comedian, R- Ralph Horowski. Okay, he, I'm calling him right now. Bring, bring. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Ralph. This what is, the fuck is this shit, yo? Ralph, why, it's yo, me. Why y'all fucking wake me up, yo? Wow, Ralph, how, you just showed up here? That's amazing. <laughs> hey, yo, I was just in the other room taking a shit, yo. <laughs> Anthony Cumia is my idol, yo. <laughs> I love the way he be treating them blacks on Twitter, yo. Dude. He got a real way about himself. Okay, so let's clear yeah, things up right you, now. What the hell are y'all up to, yo? I just had a peanut and I think I'm dying. Oh my god, this about is, fucking Tom, yo. Ralph, you yeah. are a Baltimore comedian. Yeah. And you're also cousins with Seth? Yeah, Seth, Seth Dickfield is my Jew cousin. Well, we call him <laughs> that. He ain't no Jew, actually, bloodline-wise, but we don't trust him because he wear glasses and he be doing, he be uh, eating bagels sometimes. He's just a Jew as style. He does it as yeah, style. Yeah, and honestly, that's even worse the way I look at it, yeah, <laughs> to, have, to, be, to choose that type of lifestyle. I can't, you know, my outrage has cured me of my peanut allergy. <laughs> I can't believe you say <laughs> these I'm things. Seth, you're, you. <laughs> you're back. You're I'm back. I'm back. I'm off the live. ropes, and I've had enough of this bullying from my, yeah, you from my, s- my ethnic white cousin so so ralph do you find yourself in this sort of a similar political bent to yo, say uh, first of all yo i don't be doing no politics yo i'm a moderate yo. <laughs> I say i'm on both so- i see the i see the good on both sides you know what i mean like i say i say honestly yo you want to get abortions yo do that because who trying to wear condoms i ain't trying to wear no condoms yeah so you get them abortions going but you trying to be president after you had an abortion? No, thank you, yo. <laughs> you cannot be doing that shit. Like, yo, get them shits. But you can't be hold the public office after you got an abortion, after you fucking killed a beautiful wow. ass baby, yo. Wow. That, that baby could have played despicable. third base for the fucking Orioles, yo. I mean, that's first of all, is. sports should be illegal. Second of <laughs> oh all, my God. all take it back. Never. Never. The A's, A's, Ravens. Ray Rice was framed. My other cousin worked at that elevator, and he ain't seen none of that shit go down, oh. yo. Y'all ain't see the real tapes, yo. There should be a statue of every one of Ray Rice's victims. Sports should be illegal yo. except for lady soccer. Shut up, yo. Wow. Don't, don't, wow. I'm being victimized. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> you know, for, yo, every time Seth be talking when we was growing up, we would just molest him, yo, until he shut up. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah? <laughs> what? All right. I'm about to molest you, y'all. I don't like the way okay. you be looking at me. Listen, with them I'm the on, only yeah. host. I'm the only host left of Cometown right now, and I feel like a responsibility. <laughs> yeah. well, how about Is this? there some reason you need to go for I some response? Nobody likes the word "come" anyways. Yeah, well, I it's, love cum. It was a bad podcast. That's, we're doing a new podcast okay, now. I just like that for I, real comedians. Oh, wait a second. Is this? Am I on this podcast yet? Yeah, yeah on, on our, our podcast. On this right podcast? Now. Oh, my bad. Yeah, what y'all need me to do, yo? Okay, so Ralph, I'm just. The, uh, oh, okay. I, I'd like you to be respectful. I'd like you to respect your cousin, even if fuck him, yeah. even if he is what? fuck me. S- screw you, pal. <laughs> oh my even God. if he, he is doing whatever the <laughs> blackface up, is of Jews right now, sure. and that's incredibly all, offensive. I ain't got to no me. problem with blackface. Okay. <laughs> First of all, that's history, yo. How are you gonna take history out the history books? Okay. <laughs> All You've right, never huh? read a book in your life. <laughs> books is gay. I, I love will... books. I hang out at the library and I meet First of all, yo. There. First of all, I've read... Have you checked my Facebook? I read The Giver. Thank you very much, yo. Y'all all see right. that shit? Yo, the apple... In one scene, yo, the apple was black and white, but then it turned red, yo. Yeah, I only read the first three chapters, <laughs> but that shit's fucked up. Yo, that's a metaphor, yo. I'll just learn what that word means. You don't even know what a metaphor is. Yeah, it is. It's a it's okay, a truck. He, he's, he's Ralph is an imbecile. He's a grade A imbecile. Why, so then, why is he your emergency contact? And why did he show up immediately after you? you know, I was. I told out? you. I was. Uh, I was. He at has a very Anthony fast Camilla car. Studios. I have a very fast car. Yo, that shit ain't street legal. I got six lawnmower engines in there on top of my Ford Turbo Taurus. Yo. That's a special kind of Taurus. You got a turbo out Taurus. I got a turbo out Taurus, yo. I got Where a do you spoiler. work? Where do I work? Yeah, yeah. I work out the Sh- Sherwin Williams out Glen Burnie. Oh, nice. Yeah, y'all need any kind of type of paint? Y'all tell me, yo. What I you like need? the Sherwin Williams logo. Yeah, cover the earth. Cover the earth with just, paint. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. That could be the new Cuntown logo, yo. Cover the earth with jizz. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. Y'all, I took a couple branding and marketing classes over at SS Community College. <laughs> And um, it's got to be strong. Your branding got to be strong, yeah. 
That's Are my you, take on it. Wow. I didn't... You know, Ralph, I'm really glad you can give us these kind of pointers. I just wish that Slav and Nick were Yo, here. Yo, did you just fucking look at me, yeah? I don't know. I'm look looking at you. at you right now. Yo, shut and the I, fuck up, I'm son. a grown man. I'm, I am... You ain't no grown man! I am 47 years old, okay. and you will not speak to me like this. I'm fuck tired you, of yo. it. Yo, I'm that's tired why, of being That's why bored. our uncle sucked your dick the most. All right. I, I don't remember that. Uh, I choose not to. Uh, I yeah, you don't I just... remember that shit, yeah? He would take us to the Discovery Zone. So you're and saying... And whoever couldn't do the obstacle... <laughs> whoever did the obstacle course the slowest got molested. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you train I champions. Have... That's how you breed champions I out have this fucking asthma. house. Yeah? Are you can't... telling me... Okay, look, guys, I, here's my question. Okay, rain is Ralph, yeah. you're, you're, you're implying that your cousin... Yeah. Was molested into behaving Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, everybody knows that's how Judaism started, yeah? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. I just don't like the presentation of the facts. I wouldn't yeah. say that's incorrect, but, you know, maybe I, maybe I chose not to do the obstacle course that fast. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing, yo. In the back of the head, everybody knew he liked that shit, yo. No. We would all get together. Right. Is there something wrong guys, with that? Guys, I know that Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, we Please were... explain to me in I know the, we're the least homophobic terms possible. I know we're loosey-goosey here on Cometown, but, Ralph, I think you're really heading into dangerous territory. <laughs> I'm just by spitting facts. About your cousin. First of all, the, history... Ain't dangerous territory. Historically, this is what happened to Seth. He would get molested after the Savory Zone because he couldn't do the obstacle course, and we would all sit in the back of the room pretending to be watching Martin reruns, but really we was listening to him like getting molested and calling him gay. <laughs> that's it. That's history, yo. That ain't nothing that's wrong, yo. Open your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, what was you saying? All right. Well, I'm Seth, I'm really sorry to hear about the constant abuse that you had to face growing up. That's a. Uh, that, Yo, that was just. Really he, first of all, he ain't grow up with us. That was just during Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, Seth, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in uh, Louisiana. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where you hear your classic Louisiana. That's, accent that's for. this is a classic Louisiana <laughs> accent. <laughs> Everyone in Louisiana sounds like this. <laughs> You just sound like, geez, like a real Have you, Creole. Yes, it's it's just like, uh, you know, Aunt Jemima speaks this way. <laughs> Uncle Ben speaks this you way. Feel like, yeah, here's, a question, Roni yeah. Got, here's a question, yeah. okay? Because you're from Louisiana... Do you have more of a French perspective on things? Is that <laughs> is that like a? I would say so. I like wearing tight fitted shirts and eating bread that looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. Yeah, believe, pause. Yeah, I don't. I pause. Don't yeah, women should have to pause. Pay. Yeah, my man, gay still. <laughs> that I was, thought you was about to grow out that shit, but I should have known better. First yeah. of all, I love women. Yeah, I, right. It's yeah. both sexually and politically. Yo, I bet you've gone down on a woman before. Wait, of so course Seth, I have. Okay, just gay. That's said, how you have sex. Yo, I ain't never said you love women, but you're decidedly anti Hillary Clinton. If you I love am. women, why don't you support the woman that's Ooh, that for I, I want First Bernie, of- but I would have sex with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I think Hillary is a beautiful woman, and I would enjoy a body in a in a in a in a way yeah, that yeah, would right. result uh-huh. in both of us experiencing gross. a simultaneous orgasm. But Seth, yo, that shit gross. You yo. divulged to us that yo, you that had doo doo, yo. Fuck you've, her. Yo. You've had That's four so circumcisions. Misogynistic. Yo, that bitch got hair like my uncle Donald. Yo. And you know what? I donated all of my foreskin to trans people so that they could create new genitals. Hey, what the fuck did you just say, yo? Donald? What a shitty name. You ever think of Donald? Yeah, <laughs> don't talk that way about my uncle, yo. All right, sorry. It's just a bad name. I would never insult anybody's name, yo, he'll especially be ugly Donald. Ass bitch, yo. I think she's gorgeous. All right, first of all, let's be a little bit more respectful to women no, and our, uh, our no, other yeah. guests. Ralph, listen. What? We, we do Man, know. Man, you're making me mad, yo. I understand that Seth is probably one of the most annoying human beings that yeah. I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, he was. But we can't. We got to respect other opinions and perspectives here on Come Town. I don't think That's so. the thing that I got upset about listening to the last podcast where Nick and Sav uh, did it with a uh, f- famous comedian, uh, Dan uh, Soder. Without oh, me. they got Soder, yeah? Instead yeah. of you? They oh, got, that guy's good, they, yeah. They got Soder. That guy's so- funny as hell. Okay, but like... He's a lot better than your dumbass, yeah? You know what I like the thing is, 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 uh, that they is brown nosing. <laughs> is when people do that, is they suck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's much better, yo. They should do that all the time. Dude, anyway, okay. what were you saying? I'm just saying that like they did the... Uh, 
Asian voices and uh, South Asian voices. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if that's Yo, something... I love... I, that, about I think that's hour? despicable. You should never do a voice of any kind of race agenda yeah, that doesn't that, belong that to you. That you don't belong to. Exactly. exactly. I agree wait, with wait, that, Seth, too. But you should Seth, never make a man a caricature. You should never do that, ever. Okay, Unless we're in agreement. It's one of those tasteful ones that you get on Times Square where they make you look like a ballerina, <laughs> but your head is very big. Yeah, ballerina, huh? I wonder why my man like that shit. <laughs> My man, like wearing two days. <laughs> it, no, it's a very athletically demanding sport. Have you ever seen the calves of a male Did ballerina? Just talk? Yo, ballet. Everybody knows ballet is just gay stuff. The shit gay people watch to get in the mood to have sex with each other. Yo, <laughs> that's how it started. Yo, the prince of fucking Russia. Couldn't get hard, so he looked at men jumping up and down. Y'all think I don't know my history, my motherfucker? I know my fucking history, yo. Dude, but uh, I what think... What are you saying, though, Adam? Listen, I just think that, like, you can make jokes and you can make comedy without having to do belittling stereotypes of of different races. I mean, sure. I think we can... There are a lot of very funny comedians out there. First of all, there's like, truths to stereotypes, okay? Bill Mayer... Um, John Mayer, <laughs> you know, these are guys that are really doing it without um, punching down. You know, they're punching. I know all about they're punching, punching up. down. Yeah, I know about punching. Y'all ever get in a fight with me? You're, y'all, y'all only hear y'all only hear like fucking ten hits. You only punch down. You only hear ten hits. Well, I hit you. You hit the floor. Me and my boys hit you eight more times while you're <laughs> locked unconscious. Yeah, that's what you hear, my man. So I know a little bit about punching down. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, this shit's fucking boring, yeah. What the fuck? Y'all got any fucking uh, chicken bosses out here, yeah? I don't have any chicken pasta. I do have chicken peanut- bosses. Chicken box. No, bosses. No, B o x e s, bitch. Bo- bosses. Bosses. You don't know what chicken, chicken box bosses? is? Like a boss of chicken. <laughs> yo, I can't be around this motherfucker, yo. There's too many Jews here, yo. You're Jewish, ain't you? I am. Seth is not, and it's he it, might as fucking well. Seth, be, I yo. just want to talk to you about. This I'm not caricature. Jewish. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a Jewish person. What you're doing? It doesn't Seth, make any sense to me. Listen. I would give my last nickel if I never had. To, well, maybe not that far, but I would, <laughs> I would consider it if oh, I could sure. never have to put up with that kind of. Uh, I think the Anthony Cumia show is coming back. Yeah, they're about to um, make a retarded guy get a boner. I gotta go watch. I'm that late show, for my yo. ninth therapy session today, so I have to leave anyways. <laughs> yeah, fuck. You, yeah, this shit sucks. I, 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 I'm grateful that you got my emergency contact here, but I am so displeased yeah, with having you. to be confronted with my awful cousin. Uh, most of my family I don't get along with, but him the least, and his yeah, molested father. Least, yo. What about my dad who molested you? Yo? Well, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm glad he's dead, <laughs> but you know, it is a, a, at least a physical relief that I don't have to <laughs> deal with him anymore. Well, anyway, yo, I gotta get the hell up out of here, yo. I ain't been. I, I ain't All about right. to be. Y'all Ralph. will never hear me on this podcast again. I can promise that. Uh, shit. Probably me not <laughs> uh, either. I don't think Ralph. I'm coming Seth, back. Seth Fuck Dickfield. you, man. I'm leaving, yo. Fuck you, Seth Dickfield. Ralph, thank you so much for being with us. Ravens, Ravens number one. <laughs>